Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, Tales of a Texas Mommy. Today I'm going to be showing you what is in my toddler's bag. So if you want to see what's inside, then just keep on watching. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sabra Casey. I am currently 34 weeks pregnant with baby number two. We are expecting a girl and I have a two-year-old toddler named Liam. So for the longest time, we had just one of those um, just standard shoulder diaper bags and I just hated it. Um, the pockets were all loose inside and I feel like I could never find anything and it just ended up being like a bottomless pit of stuff. Um, so when Liam was about a year old, I decided I wanted to look for a new diaper bag and I found this one. Land is the brand of this one and it is a backpack and I highly recommend getting a backpack. It is seriously a game changer when it comes to diaper bags. Um, this one we got off of Amazon. I don't even think it was $30, um, but I will link that in the description box and anything else that I talk about, I will link that below as well. So I wanted to do this what's in my toddler's bag video because like I said, I'm um, extremely pregnant and I will soon be having a newborn slash toddler diaper bag. So I wanted to do this one while it was just him because there's not a whole lot in here. Um, I have seen several what's in my diaper bag, what's in my toddler bag video, and they have a ton of stuff in there. And I'm always shocked because I want to carry around as little as possible, especially the more pregnant I get, I want less weight to carry around because I'm already carrying around a 30 plus pound toddler. Okay, let's get started. So in the front here, it's got a zipper pocket and it's insulated and it holds three bottles in here um, or sippy cups. I will usually pack an insulated sippy cup in there just to water or whatever um, and pack that like as we're on our way somewhere. I keep his bag ready to go at all times. So as soon as we get home from somewhere, if there's anything I need to replace or anything like that, I do that as soon as we get home. That way it's always ready when we leave because we always seem to be running 10 minutes late no matter what. It has got two stretchy side pockets. In this pocket, I usually don't um, keep anything in here like beforehand, but while we're out, I will um, stick my keys in there, my car keys, or uh, maybe a water bottle or something. That's the perfect size to put stuff like that in there. And then on the other side, it's got another pocket and I keep his wipes in there. And this is just one of those Huggies um, plastic reusable ones. I'm pretty sure I got this from Target and I love it because you just refill it as you run out. So on the back of the backpack, it's got another compartment and it's got a little zipper compartment here. And in here, I'm not gonna take them out because it's um, kind of stuffed, but I keep an extra change of clothes for him. And um, I rotate it with the season. So like right now we're going in, into summer. So I took out his pants that were in there and put in some shorts. Um, now that he's two, um, he's not quite two and a half, but now that he's over two, he doesn't really tend to have any accidents or anything like that. Um, typically it's like if we're out and he spills water on himself or something, we'll replace his shirt. So I keep one spare set of clothes in there. And then also a cool thing about this backpack is it's got another zipper so you can get into the bottom of the diaper bag through the back. So that's pretty neat. And that's actually a feature that I always forget about and I forget to use, but it's a really cool feature. So inside the actual diaper bag, again, it's not very full. On the inside, it's got one zipper pocket here and then it's got two side pockets here and then two front pockets here. So just on the top inside, you've got five little compartments. So in the first side compartment, this is um, like for dining out. I have a little Ziploc bag full of disposable bibs. These are the Bibster brand. And you know, we actually don't use these a lot. These are really just kind of backup, but they're just paper bibs, disposable bibs. I will link those below because you can get a huge pack of these for pretty cheap off of Amazon. I also keep a pack of the Clorox disinfecting wipes um, to wipe down like the table area that he's sitting at. Also, 
Um, like when he was in a high chair, we would wipe that down really good and all the buckles. And then now that he's in a booster, we just kind of wipe everything down. Keep this in a plastic bag <laughs> because it will leak and it will get all over your bag. Um, you're welcome. Also, um, this is something new that I just started um, putting in his bag that it's one of those things. It's like, why didn't I think about this sooner? But it is actually a um, like a dining mat. These are super cheap. And it's just a silicone mat and you put this on the table. So it's just another barrier for them against the table and stuff and easy to wipe down. Um, but yeah, I keep all of this in here for just kind of eating out or like if we're at grandma's house or something like that. So in the other side pocket, I keep um, changing stuff. So I keep one of these, um, they are puppy pads and I buy the biggest one that Amazon offers and I love these. I think these are just a game changer. Um, I used the changing pads because most diaper bags come with one and I just, I didn't like keeping up with it. First of all, I have a giant child. He was 10 pounds, almost 10 pounds when he was born. The pad barely, you know, gave me any extra room around him. You know, having to wipe it down and then if they poop on it, you have to wash it. And it was just, I feel like it was way more trouble than it was worth. So um, we actually had a ton of these left over from when we were potty training our dog. So I started using these and I don't think I'll ever go back. Um, and I bought a giant box of them and they last forever. Um, so these are good when you're out, um, like a restaurant, a gas station, whatever, or if you have to change them on the floor because you know it's gonna happen. Um, and I will put this on the floor and then I will take like his extra change of clothes or something and put that under his head for um, a pillow. Um, but yeah, this is probably my favorite thing that I have in the diaper bag because I just feel like it's so convenient. And then if they poop or something, just wrap everything up in this pad and throw it away and you're done and just replace it when you get home. I also have, um, these are little bitty changing pads and I just have these because we had a box of these gifted to us for Liam at his baby shower and I still haven't gone through them because these are teeny tiny. But I just keep these in here just, just in case because I mean they're like tissue paper, they don't weigh anything. So I keep that in the side. And then in these two little front pockets that I showed you, I keep one of them empty at all times because when we go out and like if it's just me and Liam, I typically do not bring a purse with me just because again, I don't want one more thing to have to carry around. So I will stick like my phone in there and like my, like a lip gloss or something like that. And then like my wallet, I'll stick that in there. So that's kind of like my, um, my mommy pocket that I keep. So I know I can grab it really easily. So it doesn't fall to the bottom of the bag. And then in the other side of the bag, I keep another bib and this is just one of the um, washable reusable ones with the pocket. These are the kinds that we have at home. And this is the Bumpkins brand. I really like this one. And again, they're pretty cheap on Amazon. I do have the disposable ones over here, but those are really kind of as backup just because sometimes you get caught in a situation where this one gets trashed or something. And I don't use those a lot, but I just keep them because we had a bunch extra. But typically I keep one of these and I'll replace it um, like when we get home. I also have some of these packs. These are instant stain remover packs. And the only reason I have these is because I think I got them free with something. So I thought, what's a better place to have them than in a diaper bag? So that's why those are in there. And then I have a little bitty thing of baby powder and a little bitty thing of hand sanitizer. And I keep all of that in that front pocket. So in the actual like center of the bag where there's the most room, I don't have very much. We cloth diaper, so I always keep a wet bag in here. And then it's got two zippers in it. Most um, small wet bags do. They have a front zipper and then the main zipper. In the front zipper, I keep two to three cloth diapers. It just depends. Like if I know we're gonna be somewhere for like all day or something, I'll pack more. But just like as my permanent stash, I usually keep two because that's plenty for just a couple hours. That's more than enough. Um, anyway, I keep two cloth diapers prepped, ready to go in that front pocket. That way, if he does have a um, dirty diaper, I can just stick it in here. And also, I would recommend a wet bag even if you do not cloth diaper because we were actually in a situation um, 
couple weeks ago, we were at a friend's house and they pulled out their little kiddie pool. And, you know, of course, we let Liam get in there in his clothes. And, um, of course, they were soaking wet. So we just, you know, wrung his clothes out, changed him in his um, set of clothes in here, put the wet clothes in the wet bag so that way he didn't get anything wet and it was perfect. So I would recommend one of these even if you don't cloth diaper because you can put anything in there and it'll keep it protected from the rest of your bag. Obviously, if you are using disposables, you would just replace this with a couple of disposable diapers. I also learned the older that Liam got that I needed to keep some snacks in his bag and I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out but especially the more pregnant I got I need snacks too so these are really for both of us. I just happen to have a little this is a Pampers um, little like pouch thing that I got free from like some registry box or something um, when I was pregnant with Liam and I just kept hold of it because I thought it was a cute little satchel so yeah I use it for snacks and I usually always keep um, like two or three snacks in here I mean it's just a mesh cloth just whatever you can use a ziploc bag um, but I usually keep stuff like um, granola bars or gummy snacks stuff that's a convenience item that's individually wrapped that's not gonna get like crushed so I don't keep crackers or anything like that I keep kind of um, just stuff that if it falls in the bottom of the bag, it's not going to get ruined. So that's all that I have in my toddler's bag. I feel like I was talking forever, but I really don't have that much in this bag. And like I said, I keep it, this is how I keep it prepped at all times. And then if we're doing something that requires different items, I will pack that before we go. But this is just kind of how I have it to go for day to day. Keep an eye out because I will be doing a... Uh, what's in my newborn slash toddler bag when baby girl gets here and I will probably have a new diaper bag because I feel like with the newborn obviously they need way more stuff and I think I'm gonna look for a bigger backpack but definitely a backpack for sure because that's seriously a game changer so if you like this video and you like content like this please make sure to give it a thumbs up that way I know to make more and subscribe to my channel below I will see y'all in the next one bye